Andrew Magnus was over here going, uh, transgender hate mail, homosexual hate mail, atheist hate mail. There's a bunch of different, uh, na mostly negative comments on YouTube and DeviantArt against, mm, oh yeah, they're going against the comments that I made, uh, in response to the comments that I made uh, against these li deviant lifestyles mm, on different videos and art posts. Uh, trigger warning words like penis, vagina, uterus, ovaries, testicles, and vulva will be used in these videos. I am a biological, I, no, I am a biological person, there's no such thing. I am a Bible-believing Christian, so I say I take you off. And the real that say that Christian, we don't believe in the Bible, which really messes them up. Well, they say we take you off. The real that say that God is evil, which is wrong, or God does not exist, which is wrong, well, they say we take you off. Uh, with no names and icons shown or talked about. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about the names or the icons. Uh, I will not be showing the screen caps. And these are from screen caps. The words I'm talking about uh, from screen caps uh, onto YouTube and DeviantArt that I have on my phone and on my computer. Uh, the phone ones are the newest ones, so I'll do those first. If those are done, I'm going to start at the beginning because I had to delete those things. So I delete the, my videos showing off those ones. Uh, because they are, because they could be considered, according to what my brother says, they could be considered incriminating evidence of harassment. You know, they're basically calling uh, me saying, telling someone who's saying uh, that they are afraid of what what's going to happen to them when they grow up. You know, they're afraid of going through puberty. They don't have to be afraid of going through puberty. And some people are saying that's harassment. And I'm like, yeah, let's do that. You know, I hear. Uh, so this person says, oh, I'm sorry about that, but you clearly gained no empathy for that experience. Sure, whatever it's just I thought, I said something about something. Mm -hmm. you know? And I say, true, I learned that turn out the sob stories and focus on the truth. That's it, people will do anything they, anything they can to get what they want. And that can be dangerous. They must learn that they don't have to be desperate. Mm -hmm. That's the issue. I'm, trying, I'm advocating learning, mm -hmm. using your brain, using your mind to learn stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, your body... Well, yeah, basically, if you have to get a clean, uh, a clean bill of health from your doctor saying everything's functioning normally in your body, then you're not in the wrong body. You know, you know there's nothing wrong with your body. It's all good. You know, no, you're not in the wrong body. You know, so, oh, yeah, you know. But basically, these people are being taught that they're in the wrong body because they don't like certain aspects of them, of them like what they look like, how they sound, their voice is, or what biological things that they do, normal biological functions they do, you know. They were told that, and uh, that's a lie. So we got plenty of that. See on here, and so I say it's true. I never was lying while you were on sex. And someone says I, I'm, I'm not. Mm -hmm. but yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yes, this person is. If they are saying they're transgender, mm -hmm. if they say use these you know, male pronouns for me, even though it's more ovaries, use the male female pronouns for me, even though it's more testicles. Those are lies. Yeah. And I say you have an transition. Good, that is lying. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, that's a sarcasm because of course I know this person wants to transition. Yeah, so, yeah. And someone says, it doesn't tell biological sex. Mm -hmm. Well, it can if you're doing the other line, but yeah. It tells gender, mm, identity, mm, but uh, no. So why not just ask someone? They don't need to prove anything to you. Of course, they're trying to. Mm -hmm. Any trans person who says they're transgender is trying to prove that they are mm, to everyone mm, they come across. You've got people saying, oh, I, I, I'm a man. Again, I am a man. They you know, ignore the physical evidence, ignore that I'm wearing, you know, I cut my hair short, like, like men have. Mm. You know, I'm wearing bra you know, baggy clothes, I hide my breasts in other curves. I, I, I want you to use male pronouns for me, mm, you know. I get surgery to hide my breasts, you know, to cut, get my breasts reduced, I look my male breasts, <laughs> my male boot, you know, male chest. I want to get to my vulva and clitoris, vulva and clitoris cut up so it looks like a penis and testicles, mm, you know. Or only my well, penis and testicles cut up so it looks like a vulva and ovaries. Well, you know, not ovaries. Vulva and clitoris. You know, never will be that. But that's lying. That's that's what they're doing. They're basically trying to prove that they are what they are what they want you to believe they are. So that you'll treat them better. And they be doing that. What they need to be doing is you know, understanding that if somebody if someone hates on your body, nothing's wrong with it, then it's not your body's fault. It's their fault. Little people's fault. I say, if they don't need to prove anything, then why transition? That's an extreme way to prove that they are the gender they say they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sure is. Mm -hmm. Can you? And they can't get healed by God. There's this thing of time. Doubtful, says this person. And I say, not to me. Mm -hmm. It's false comfort, like transitioning. So whatever else they're tonight. Let's see. Lying on my medical sex, covering a fear, hoping no one finds out the truth. Or trusting the creator of the universe that he gave you the body you're supposed to have. Uh, I'll stick with trusting God. I'll, I'll stick with trusting God. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's what I said. Continue on here. Uh, someone says, 
Some kids just love to do dumb stuff by hurting other kids. And I say, yeah, that's so sad. We must help them stop doing that. Don't, you know? Oh, yeah. There was another thing about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there was our post about some stuff. Well, great. And then there's our post here, Charity Bazaar. Here's Charity Bazaar, someone says. At the age of 29, she's so adorable. I, I get a vision of her as a blonde bimbo lifeguard when she's all old, when she's grown up. Sexy, sexiness is what makes her happy at happy the most. Mm. And I say she's a, she looks great because she basically is the uh, 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 fan art of Cherry Bazaar from Southern Hysteria, uh, all grown up in a uh, one piece red swimsuit, uh, amazing curves, and there's a few uh, lifeguard accessories around. She has a megaphone and uh, 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 what's it called? Life ring, mm -hmm, you know. Uh, or a uh, float, yeah, life ring, binoculars, and sunscreen, and she has her nose sunscreened, and they, uh, yeah, it's not fully colored. Her hair is white, mm -hmm. not colored yet, mm -hmm. you know. But yeah, that's interesting. Still look good. Can you on? And someone says, "How be awesome! They would be awesome." They like, oh yeah, someone did a uh, art post of I think some people for the Tune Squad for Space Jam Two, mm -hmm. Space Jam: A New Legacy. And, uh, yeah, some characters that were not there, <laughs> you know, like the Simpsons or somebody else. Yeah, I was saying they would be awesome on that team, you know, and so on. They'll say, and what do we get with them? Nothing. They literally forgot the series, and I missed, they forgot that series, and that's a missed opportunity. And someone said, hooray, they're going to win the game with t with Toon Squad. Oh, yeah, that's cool. As well as cheering a pretty girl up. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. You know what? And someone says, all right, I'm out. Uh, other person who's hating on this dude <laughs> for hating on the transgender lifestyle is trying to have an actual discussion with you. <laughs> okay, so that person is defending, was, one person was defending this other person uh, when I was hating on the transgender lifestyle. <laughs> and so it's, I'm out. Uh, discussion with you as opposed to an argument. You can't just hit them with, but I'm right. Because <laughs> I am. Uh, when people are trying to listen to you, maybe you hear what they have to say as well. Yes, I have, and it's wrong. So, <laughs> And I say, well, when you are right and they are wrong, seeing them defend the wrong side is frustrating. <laughs> you know, that's what I say. And then this person says, uh, wait, well, he's right. All right, I'm out. That's frustrating. And... Well, it's stopping me from saying that, says the other person. I uh, said, you are saying that, but you're wrong. Why am I biological sex is wrong? <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. uh, we're good. Yeah, yeah. Next. And then uh, someone, uh, uh, someone says, uh, this girl says, uh, we can normalize trans people being their best selves. Oh, yeah, that's bad news. Don't do that. Uh, and then it wouldn't have to be like that. All, I, all I'm asking for is a little respect. So I'm having a lot of respect by saying that you're going on the wrong path. You got to stop. Mm, you know, the so disrespect would be to let them go and uh, get all hurt and damaged, you know, all hurt and whatnot, without any opposition. You know, that would be disrespectful because uh, those are people, you know, created by God. You know, and He wants people to do things the right way. So basically. I will show respect by telling when someone's doing something wrong, I, I will say so. Mm -hmm. I tell the truth. Done. Uh, a little respect. I believe you are close to giving it to me. I appreciate that. I want you, just want you to be more open minded. I'm trying to be. I still don't believe there's any, that any God exists. So that sucks. Mm. I'm sorry. I just can't see it anyway. That could be true. Oh, my God. That's because you know, she's believing lies here. Uh, but I will still will be able to do what to do, who do to be respected. I don't want to argue with them unless they're trying to use their religion to harm me or anyone else. And I say, you will have to learn that he does exist, just like you have to learn that lying about biological sex is wrong. I will never have to respect lies. People are the best selves without them. Mm -hmm. They are. Because mm -hmm. lies, lying is an abomination to the Lord. They live three years of life. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Go. Like, so I, oh, yeah, I said, I, the, the one thing I said, when someone's you know, trying to, you know, basically, Defend the wrong side uh, is frustrating. Uh, so see, this she said, this person says, you know, and I you know how I feel, how it feels when no one believes you and they will never accept you for who you are. The problem is uh, when you uh, lie about what you are as part of who you are. That's not good. <laughs> you look like you're a liar. You're a liar. No, that's not good. You don't love me. You just love what I, who I want to be. You know? mm -hmm. I, I, I uh, showing you love by telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with your body. You got to learn that. Mm -hmm. you know, stop doing this bullcrap. So this other person is, is right, actually. Why engage with someone who very clearly will never give you a very minimal amount of respect? That is all I respect. That is all I asked for. 
Respect of lies. No. Mm -hmm. I don't respect those. Hope you leave your toxic mindset soon. It actually hurts to know that it's been beaten into your head so hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, fight against lies. Yeah, it sucks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This way it goes. I said, sorry, but I must continue to fight against this. You are lying about what magic sex you are, and that is wrong. I will never expect lies. So instead of saying that you are a man, you just say that you like a certain style of dress or hair or certain activities that may be stereotypically male. Mm. But obviously, both males and females can make them make use of them. That would be the truth. Mm. I think that was my last you know, communication with them so far. Mm. So I know that was another thing. I said, uh, yeah, that's cute, but kind of risky nowadays. Mm. This is cute, not risky nowadays. Because I saw, it was a picture of a boy and a girl drinking from the same glass <laughs> with two straws in it. <laughs> I'm like, eh. <laughs> and I was someone. This person's like, what's the risky about it? They're only out on a date. And I say, certain germs can be passed that way. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't say, you can't split, you can't split drinks no more. <laughs> you can't do that. No. So I'll say, see you guys next time. Check me out on YouTube and here we are.